So what we're going to find in a nutshell is that inside of a laser, there's an amplification process where it's a cascading chain reaction where one photon can trigger additional photons to be released. And then those photons can trigger more photons to be released and more and more and more. And that's the amplification going on. And then through the process and how it's built, we can focus it into a beam, which we see as a laser. Now, what are the main properties of lasers? We have to talk about this before we can describe how it works. M three main properties. The first one is what we call monochromatic. Monochromatic is a fancy word that means that the laser light that comes out has the same color. And uh, which we mean uh, the same wavelength. This is a, uh, the, the symbol, the symbol uh, lambda, which means uh, the same wavelength. So when things have the same wavelength, they're the same color of light. Notice the, the light is usually red, but it can also be green and even blue now. And so, but it's always a pure color, monochromatic. Second property is that laser light is what we call coherent. Coherent light means it has, that all of the light waves have the same, what we call phase. Now, phase just means that the waves that come out are all lined up, essentially. So here we have a wave like this, and then we have another, that's a photon, let's call it. And then there's another one uh, uh, that's uh, traveling with it, and it's, I'm just going to draw it kind of right on top because they're lined up. The crest and the troughs are lined up. If there's a third photon here, they're all lined up, they're all lined up, they're all lined up, they're all lined up. If they were shifted with respect to one another, they wouldn't be in phase. Next, we say that uh, it's collimated, which means it's a thin beam. And you all know uh, that laser light has that very thin beam. So we're going to talk about all of that. So these are the properties of a laser. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.